Well, at last, she's home. And I'll take you for a tour around. Lots of things that I think I shall probably want to do with her, but on the surface, she's looking good. And as we round the corner, there we have it. A lovely 1600 VW engine. And she sounds absolutely fabulous. A naught to 60 in about five miles. So, I shall probably take you on the trip through. Very nice in the back. The only bugbear is the Recaro seats. Not quite what I was hoping for, but I think I've solved that problem. I think I found some replacements. Lovely, lovely roof rack. And I've got the lid popped up at the moment. So there she is, and I shall get on now and do some a few little bits and bobs on her to suit me. So first things first is going round and removing all the unwanted stickers and just tidying up the mess that they're going to leave. So let's get on with that now. <music> now by the sticky stuff so I shall soak it in WD-40 and see if that's not gonna remove all this residue <laughs> Thank you. 
rivets. Right, gotta go. Oh, I'll turn those and rivet. Oh, it's a mess in here. Some serious surface rust that needs to be rubbed down. Yep. Okay, that's all rubbed down. Get some rust coating on to protect the metal and get rid of these wires. Speaker wires. can't do with them dangling. Well, it's not a quick job at all, but I thought we'll start on the rear. If there are any mistakes to be made up here, then I'll learn by those mistakes before I... Yeah, I'll learn by those mistakes. Actually, I think taking this panel off and recutting a new panel might not be a bad idea because, as you can see, I've got cable in there which needs to be behind all this trim. And oh, I don't know what this trim's all about, but somebody has painted the inside black. I'm not keen on it. I'm not keen on it at all. So I'm wondering how I could best manage that. Back or work out to remove rivets. Because if you look closely, oh sorry, let's get you. Oh, all right, taking you off now, sorry. If you look closely, I've got a rivet. Oh, where's my finger? I've got a rivet there. I'm clearing out. Now seriously, down there. that really is just and surface rust. Rivet. So I'm gonna have to get myself some where's my finger? sandpaper. Hold on. Google search says use a 40 grit, which I think this definitely needs. And then I will cover it because it's where the spare wheel goes, spare tyre. I will get that cleared out, get that up with a protection on it. But in fact, I'll probably do the whole of that. And then I can put the spare back. But all this wiring that's here has all got to go behind this where that blue one is running at the moment. And then I need to get a new piece of... Um, cardboard and put it back somebody's put it back with some trim um which i suppose is a good idea but actually it'd be rather nice oh i don't know no maybe i'll stick with that and i'll i'll use um duct tape to hold the wiring into place because as you can see it's just dangling from the speakers that are in this back compartment so yeah lots to do and like many like so often you do a job you think it's a job but actually it's leading to other things so i think first of all let's get that panel off try and keep it in one piece and then i can make a template and i can put that back into place or if I go on my website that I found, it may be that they sell this particular panel on this side. A bit more difficult on the other side because of course you've got that and that's where the filler cap is on the other side. So trying to get a hardboard covering around that is, I don't think it's going to be very sensible. But you know, there's little odd rust place, places there they need sanding back. I need, I think I need to fill them. Although it looks as if 
yeah it looks as if it's had a panel and you can see that by that little hole there and there's another hole right the way yeah you can see them there's a little hole just there so it might be there's a panel to go on but look at this i mean yeah it got painted so far but quite honestly nah we need to i need to do something about this and tidy this hole tidy it up just as i want it really so i shall probably end up spraying the inside but i shall make sure i move everything out once i've got the rust sorted and i've got some holes i'll find out what the recommendation is for plugging that sort of hole and maybe i'll just leave it with the with the with the metal and and then i'll take this off to expose the metal and then it's all the same because i've got odd holes here I've got some surface rust, but that can all be removed with my um, sandpaper. And I've got to sort out little bits and pieces like that. And I've got to work out what that's for. In fact, I'm trying to see now. Don't know what it's for, but we'll get it sorted. And I'll see if I can't make that a little prettier if it is at the moment. Anyway, see you shortly.